here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship here tonight. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. As usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. So tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, John, he puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Makashev tonight. Our tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here's the perennial welterweight contender, Leon Rocky Edwards. Nice to see him finally realize a championship opportunity there in Salt Lake City. This is a 5 2 player, though. A lot of people fancy him just a striker. Haven't watched all the film. Of that, I can assure you, he can wrestle, he can grapple, can even choke you out if need be. Going to be very interesting to see stylistically how he chooses to approach this matchup tonight. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem this. All the dirty boxing paying dividends tonight. Not much behind the takedown offer in there. Frantic pace early on to this one. Right, so the wrestler engages in a clinch here, and he does so very early in the fight against the kickboxer. Oh, tries to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but 
didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off. Oh! You cannot take too many of those. Relax, relax. Oh, my goodness. throwing everything with fight ending intentions. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Edwards. And everything's landed with so much power. Beautiful takedown land. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Mm, that was nice. Back mount now. Makashev's back in side control here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He needs to shove the knee. Hip heist and get back up to your feet. He has controlled the position, postured up, and landed another strike that has caused it swell. Let's go. Let's keep 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Right. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Stop. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coach. Listen, They're all celebrating awesome. because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round underway. Big shot to the head. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, my goodness, he's going at him. Nice shot inside by the champion. Flips him with the left hand. Well, he was setting up the hooks early in offense tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, just like he drew it up with us on Thursday, catches the kick, counters beautifully with the takedown. He did a great job countering with yeah, that nice big punch. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Islam Akasha. Under three minutes here to go in round two. Let's go. He's able to slip the left. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. Oh, he's got his back. Setting up for a submission now. Dude's trying to finish the fight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping them in full guard. 
most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Islam Apasha. Edwards trying to make some of these ground strikes count. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Round three next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well-placed kick there by Edwards. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Down is good. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments to this. He's taking too many of these shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landing huge ground ball. The guy has to move or the fight's going to get finished. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Now he's going full mount. Makashev's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Oh, he got out. Wow, that is amazing that he did not tap to that submission. Right he was in very right deep, down. but he made slight movements, got off to the side, slipped his right arm out, and found safety. Great job defensively. Well, targeting is a penalty in football, not here, as he continues to attack that swelled area. Absolutely relentless when it comes to the ground and pound. Now working the body. Nice job by Islam Makasha. Massive shot from the top. <laughs> Takes his back now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Akashi. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. This has got to be it. And there's the tap. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 39 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion.
of the world, Islam Makachev. All right, so he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations.